Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Tops Series 2 Baseball 16 Box Blaster Edition Random Team Break Number 1. A very big thank you to all of these folks for getting into the action. I just took a little bit of time, but I appreciate everybody's patience. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. And congrats to the winners of these spots right here as well. All teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. A full 12 times. Six and a six. Two. Three. 11 and 12th and final time. Full 12 times. Six and a six. We've got Mary all the way down to Aaron. Six and a six, 12 times for the teams. One, two. Eleven and 12th and final time. Good luck. <clears throat> After 12 times, we've got the Cardinals all the way down to the Brewers. Remember, before you trade, keep your 2019 rookies in mind. Obviously, Tatis being the Tatis being the big one. All right, so Mary with the Cardinals, Chris with the Yankees, Zach with the Diamondbacks, Nick with the A's, Mike with the Cubs, Jordan with the O's, Jason with the Phillies, Nicholas Benningfield. You got my Dodgers, and a couple runs scored against my Dodgers. I think right now, so we're down four two. Um, Ryan H. with the Rocks. We got Barry with the Marlins. Chris with the White Sox. Ed with the Tigers. Sam with the Twins. Jordan with the Rangers. James with the Nats. Nicholas with the Giants. Tony with the Angels. Zach with the Indians. Jacob with the Blue Jays. Anthony with the Rays. Alberto with the Braves. Jason with the Pirates. Chris with the Royals. Jeremy with the Red Sox. Chris with the uh, Mariners. Mark with the Astros. Andrew with the Reds. Jordan with the Padres. There you go. And the Mets. And Aaron with the Brew Crew. So let's get to all this on one page right here. And we're going to pause the video really quick and allow for a little bit of trading time. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades and then the break. Stick around. And welcome back, folks. We got Nick on the Nick Cam helping us out with this break. So that way we'll have more time for maybe Transcendent Baseball tonight. I don't know. All right. So let's print, let's close the trade window. TW, wait, sure. What's that sure for, Mike? Oh, uh, we do have a trade? Wow, under the radar trade. A's, Cubs? Hold on, we're going to have to hang on, hang on a second, Nick. Let's flip back. I'm going to turn on the Nick cam here so we can continue doing work. There it is. Wow, Cubs trade is going to happen. So there's Nick Stober with the A's and Mike G with the Cubs. I can confirm those people. Those people are real. Okay. Wow. Now the trade window is closed for reals. What, what excitement here at jazbeescasebreaks.com, ladies and gentlemen. So you're watching this unfold live, boys and girls. Nick, you are now out of the A spot and into the Cubs spot. We'll put a T next to, their, next, to their, uh, next to the team name. So if you're watching at home, you can see who draws first blood in the trade. And Mike G lands into the A spot right there. I guess I should confirm it in the chat. In text right there. There you go. There's no turning back now because we're printing and ripping, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, plus future consideration. Maybe a player to be named later. All right. Good trade. I honestly don't remember who the 2019 Cubs or A's have, so... I'm assuming you know your checklists. All right. Once again, big thanks to these folks right here. I know it took a little bit of time, but I appreciate everybody hanging in there. I don't think a single person asked for a refund in these, so thank you. All right. Here is Blaster Box 1 with the medallion on top. It's Joey Votto, commemorative patch, votto -matic. That's going to go to... And, oh, there was one. All right, only one. That's not bad. That's not bad. There you go. Chad, yes, this is a uh, Los Angeles Dodgers All-Star game. Remember how we went to that? Yeah, it was a lot, that was a lot of fun. 
the home social gathering. Yeah. During it, we uh, we paid a lot of money for the home run derby, but I think it was worth it. Tons of droplets. Mm -hmm. of it. <laughs> We're just breathing in droplets all over the place. What am I looking for in here? What anything exclusive in here? Um, Fernando Tatis. Basically, Tatis hunting is really all this is, right? Yeah. Um, rookies. All right, so all rookies are going to ship, obviously. Gary V's top entrepreneurs. Okay, got to look out for Gary V's top entre entrepreneurs. Yes, we did, Patrick. Vintage very, stock. very you sad. Catch those. Wakanda forever. Vintage stocks. Vintage stocks? Yeah. Like, like, like vintage, like Ford stock. Advanced stats, short prints. I haven't seen anything like that yet. Mother's Day, Father's Day. There's this is different. We got a 150 stamp right here. These are blaster boxes, folks. So I don't think we're gonna, we're not gonna see anything too. Well, we might. I don't know. I shouldn't say that. But obviously, it's very different. Very different from hobby boxes. 2019, Alex Wood out of 2019. I haven't seen any major rookies yet. No foil or anything like that. Significant statistics platinum, one in 100,000 packs. <laughs> okay, we'll look out for that. One in every hundred thousand packs. So they made a hundred thousand packs divided by seven. <laughs> What's a hundred thousand divided by seven? Mm -hmm. They've made at least that many blasters. One hundred. Yeah, fourteen thousand two hundred eighty-five. Yeah. All right, we got. Another commemorative patch, Harmon Killebrew for the Twins. That'll be for Sam. We have personals of these available as well. Ooh, jaspies.com, where personal breaks live. Ted's on Instagram right now. You can buy, buy blasters of this. He hasn't done a single hit for any case. He has not? I thought after yesterday everybody would be... Selling out. Wow. I think there's still a Trout Auto left. I don't think Mike Trout's a bomb now. I guess. Cardinals, that goes to Mary Lou. Well, there's a special Hit Parade Jaspies collab. Hit Parade X Jaspies, as the cool kids would do it. Not that cool, though. But, yeah, we have an exclusive with Hit Parade, folks. So if you want to go check it out, at Jaspies Breaks on Instagram... Is where uh, is where you can find it. Talk to Ted; he'll tell you where to go. Jaspies.com. But at Jaspies Breaks on Instagram Live only. Go find it there. Wow, that's a that's pretty cool. Look at that. The fireworks right there. One of the one. Of them. Not the. It's definitely the best in California. Wow, that's that is definitely not true. There's Matt Harvey to oh, fifty. <laughs> nice, good one. That goes to. Remember when you had this guy on your team? What a waste. No. Some more more bad decisions by Nick's Angels. That goes to. How do you do in the start? You had a start with the Royals. Matt Harvey, Angels Edition, going to Tony Barkey. Oh, and Mookie Betts, commemorative patch for the Red Sox, Jeremy Port. Dodgers down by four? Come on. I haven't missed any significant rookies yet, right? <laughs> Just kind of breezing through this break here. All these inserts and stuff will ship. Nikki Delmonico got got released. But Danny Mendick has been playing pretty well. I mean, that's one of the nicer stadiums in California, not Angel Stadium. 
Dodgers game number one, of course, in all of baseball. Giolito, nice, uh, nice no hitter for him the other night. And that's a foil, Brian Johnson. Looks like those are not as common as, as the hobby boxes. There's Gary V's top entrepreneurs in baseball. To two ninety nine. Who is it? Oh, uh, it's uh, Trevor May. Why is are you why wondering is why is he a top, top entrepreneur? entrepreneur? Yes. Let's find out. This is for the Twins. That's going to go to Sam, and the foil uh, Brian Johnson will go to the Red Sox. Jeremy Port. Trevor May is a top entrepreneur. Gary V says Trevor is taking esports to a new level. He founded Esports Lab and is arguably the most famous baseball streamer today because he's so well-known in two arenas. Trevor isn't vulnerable to one platform, something I tell every entrepreneur to be wary of. He also gets extra credit for being the first MLB player to interact with me on social media. Oh, I scratched your back. You scratched mine. I see why Gary Vee is doing that. All right. So there he is. Trevor May for the Twins. An entrepreneur, Sam Keys. An entrepreneur. Remember people got mad because they have dual autos of a player and Gary V, and they were all mm -hmm. mad at that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And then they had, like, invites where, like, you'd pull it, and there was, like, an invite to have dinner with Gary V. People didn't like that? Yeah. Isn't, isn't, but isn't, isn't there, like, a like a Gary V, like, cult? Like, there are some people who really love him think yeah. he's, like, a financial genius that's going to make them millions. There's Jeff Bagwell, Astros, Mark. Mark N with that. Talks about cards a lot. Yeah, it helps us out. I'm not complaining. Jeff Bagwell, Strohs, Mark N. Once again, I saw a recent picture of Hunter Renfro and Hunter Renfro, baseball Hunter Renfro and football Hunter Renfro together. Yeah, together. So just just to prove that they are different people. So that that is debunked. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Maybe not. It's photoshopped. There's Uris Familia. That's just Hunter Renfro trying to arts outsmart the rest of us. Trying to keep people thinking that there's two of them. It's really just one. Look at that, fake Bryce Harper rookie card. Oh, this is the first Pete Alonzo I've seen. All right, that goes to the Mets. Jordan Bond with the Mets. Bond, Jordan Bond. Do 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 do. I'll bet he. Uh, I'll bet he never gets that. But Jordan never gets that. It's like I know. And there's a Tatis Jr. So the Padres also for Jordan. Wow. All right. Jordan Bond is happy. There you go. So rookie Tatis and rookie Pete Alonso. Those are the two main rookies in 2019, along with Vlad Guerrero Jr., which we have not seen. Eloy Jimenez rookies in here too, though. All right. And Lucas Giolito, no hitter guy, out of 2019. All sorts of things happening here, actually. So I guess Vlad Guerrero Jr. is the only guy we haven't seen yet. All right, the Jimenez goes to the White Sox. Chris Girard, last spot mojo. He's been playing some great baseball this year. I think Vlad was in Series 1 in this year. Oh, Vlad was maybe in Series 1. There's David Wright. He might have been an update. He called update. David Wright heading out to the Mets. That'll be for Jordan. We got Milwaukee Menaces to 2019. Brewers, Aaron with that one.
That's right, Sean Jaspi. Exactly. Seven nights a week. Another Pete Alonzo rookie. Who was the person who kept saying stuff about Nightbot? About Nightbot? Yeah, there was someone. Sean might know. Who was the person? Why did that person keep getting mad at Nightbot that one night? That was I did not see that. So bad for Nightbot. He can't defend himself. <laughs> Someone I was, saying, after every I was someone single getting... Nightbot, they were like saying, Hey Nick, can you just disable Nightbot? I'm sick of it. Like Why? Like death threats towards Nightbot. It's just like why is it's not it's, it's not doing anything to him. It's just providing valuable information for group breaks that everyone answering frequently asked questions. You can just ignore it. Oh, that person also, th well, that person's very all, all sorts of confused there. Oh, yeah. Another Tatis Jr. for Jordan Bond. Jordan, all of these add up. I mean, some of these could be graded. I'm sure Rod still sells pretty well. He's having an excellent season. Same with the Eloy Jimenez, Chris. All of these add up. I'm sure they sell well raw. I'm sure you can get some of these graded if you get enough of those. There's Alex Bregman, another entrepreneur. Oh, because he's one of the, he's on YouTube and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. But I think that was before all that went down. So now Gary V probably is like, am I endorsing cheaters now? I know Nick and I were just talking about that, Arthur. RIP Chadwick Bozeman, ladies and gentlemen. Here on Friday, August 28th, 2020, Chadwick Bozeman has passed away after battling colon cancer for four years. Texas Rangers, Jordan Bond. And today is today's designated Jackie Robinson Day for baseball. And he played Jackie Robinson. It's crazy. R.I.P. He was also in draft day. Was he in draft day? Yeah. I, I still haven't seen that. He's the top prospect in Ah, uh, I see. He's in a lot of movies, actually. Marshall. Man, what a trooper. That dude was like working the last four years doing all yeah, those movies. <laughs> yeah, doing, doing, Stunts like staying fit, stuff. like yeah. staying muscular for Black yeah. Panther and he's still going through chemo. Yeah. That spray, don't spray. I swear, that, that stuff's gonna get. What, what, what is? That bathroom spray. Oh. We need to we need to open up that second bathroom. I think. What for people like Ted? <laughs> just because we have well, yeah, but we also have we just also have more people just working here at any given time. One's not enough. I'm gonna work on the air conditioning first. Yeah, that guy left. I don't think anything happened. No, they told my dad the, the oh. price to fix it. Oh, I see. And it rhymes with. It rhymes oh, no. with. <laughs> The price to fix it rhymes with uh, rhymes with we're gonna keep this fan for a while. <laughs> rhymes with fourteen thousand. Fourteen? Yeah. Looks like we're keeping the fan for a while. <laughs> well, that stuff the what's in the call has to pay for. Oh, landlord has to pay. Yeah, right. Like, we don't own I the land. Air conditioning is a. Uh, oh, it's part of the. It's part of the degree there. Or something. Oh, okay. Oh, that's. So now it's a matter of convincing that person. But then the guy said, yeah, it's useless to even Ed. pay 14000 because it's just going to break right after again. So you Why? can get a whole new unit. Oh, no, he's... No, the motor's wrong. And... So is he suggesting we should just pay like... Maybe... A zillion dollars? Maybe... Maybe... <laughs> 20000 20 yeah. I don't know. To just replace the whole thing? Yeah, to just get rid of oh. it and just put a new one in. I don't know how much that would cost. All right, looks like we're keeping the fan here for a while then. Maybe we got an air conditioner. 
Great credit. <laughs> if anybody in Southern California works in the AC industry and wants to give us a little discount, we'd be we won't be too proud to beg for something like that. <laughs> Jacoby Jones, Tiger. Doesn't Johnny Cannon? No, he does. He's in construction, right? I think Johnny Cannon's in yeah, construction. Yeah, I think we know a lot of construction people. Yeah. In case we ever buy yeah. land and build a house. Jack may, we may just have to raise this building and then just build a new one on top of it. I might just have to get a dome and open the dome up on hot days. <laughs> <laughs> open the dome. All right, guys, it's going to be windy conditions today. The dome is open. So please With wear your gloves. Dome. We have to wear gloves while breaking for extra grip. All right, there's Buster Posey, Giants. Well, the portable ACs, thank you, Nick. The portable ACs don't work because we need to be able to vent out of a window. That's 7 out of 50, Buster Posey. Slightly different parallel than the other ones. This one's actually numbered for Nicholas and the Giants. But we have to vent the AC out of a window. Our windows don't open. Because I got one of those at home, which actually work really nicely. Out of 2019, Rockies Stadium. But yeah, if we had a... Yeah, if we had windows that could, that we could actually open, then we'd be like, we would have gotten that a long time ago. But now we're in a no man's land because like it's September basically. It's gonna get cooler in like a month. <laughs> so it looks like that AC is gonna wait until next year. Nikki Del Monaco, which I guess is fine. This the fan that I got is actually working kind of pretty nicely. All right, another Pete Alonso for the Mets, Jordan Bond. Is that our first uh, Vlad Guerrero Jr.? There's another Eloy Jimenez for Chris and the White Sox. The, let's get into this top loader here. The uh, Vlad Jr. for the Blue Jays, Jacob. Jacob Palfi with the Blue Birds, the Buffalo Blue Jays. If I happen to miss any other ones, Jacob, we'll, don't worry. We'll, we'll pull them out. They'll get shipped. Uh, what's wrong with the AC, Arthur? Arthur's at, the, it just doesn't work. Apparently, Nick was saying, maybe mentioning that the motor is incorrect. For that machine, it'll probably burn out anyway, something like that. All right, there's the next one, Mike Piazza. I think I need more top loaders for the rest of these. But the guy was saying it was like fourteen thousand dollars, Arthur, and he says that the that the motor for that unit is incorrect, and that it will just most likely burn out again in the future, in the near future. Thus, he is suggesting replace the whole GD thing. What's up, Gilo? There's Mike Piazza, Mets edition going to Jordan. Well, if Arthur, if you if you know a guy. Um, it is California, though. Southern LA prices are are crazy. You should look at what they charge for, I don't know, just to plug a computer into your car. 
Actually, those are free. You can go anywhere and get <laughs> you can get a diagnostics check. But I don't know. Stuff's expensive. It sure is, Mark Rubin, but no, we're dumb enough to pay for it. Weather's beautiful. A lot of fun stuff to do around here. It's a good time. I don't know. Why, I don't know why Mark Rubin. I don't know why people keep moving here if it's such a ripoff. I need more people to leave. I would like more people to leave. <laughs> Free up some traffic around here. All right. There's Honus Wagner, Pirates. Gilo, uh, we'll be on until for another hour-ish. Basically, after I finish this, I'm basically hoping that we can fill uh, Bowman Transcendent. Maybe call it a night. It's not getting any closer, though. That Immaculate's not moving either. Five Star is kind of moving. I'll do Immaculate and Transcendent if you want. I'll do Immaculate, Transcendent, and Five Star if you want. But I, you know, but we're kind of close to the end of my evening. I can't wait all night for it to fill. On 2019, there's Pablo Sandoval, the Panda. That's dark, Gilo, but I guess so. All right. Let's keep rolling here. There's Trevor May again, one of Gary V's noted entrepreneurs in baseball, I guess, is his, is his deal. For Shaw. Um, there is something sold out after this, folks. We're going to be doing, um, we're going to be doing uh, Upper Deck. Upper Deck, I keep saying that. Upper Deck has a product called Black, too. Panini Black Football. So that's going to happen after this. And then, um, I don't know what we'll do after that. There's Roberto Almar, Blue Jays edition, going to Jacob. You put your dog on a baseball cart and you'd like to send me one. Sure. You know our address. That'd be kind of funny. I still have to take a picture of Bubba the Pug and get him as a cardboard cut at a Dodger Stadium at some point. I think they still have spots available. No, Mark Rubin is Team Vegas Dave over Gary V. Yeah, I'm not sure about either of those guys, to be honest with you, but as long as they keep bringing attention to the hobby, we'll take that free PR. Jared Hughes. They're both idiots. Yeah, I kind of lean that way as well. And I'll just, I'll just make my own call about the market, do my own thing, at my own pace. But. The interest that those two generate, though, I think a lot of that does does trickle down to group breaks and does trickle down to us. So thanks to those two. We appreciate it. Dear Steve Carlton. Nice Steve Carlton for the Phillies. That's going to go to Jason.
Bobby Pointer to 2019 for the Red Sox. That's going to be for Jeremy Port. Is it time to dust off our Zach Gallons? Arthur, he's saying pitching another good game. Five innings, two hits. How many Ks? Chicks dig the Ks. And there's Jose Peraza, nice 1976 card right there. That goes to the Reds, Andrew. And four Ks. Okay, that's not bad. He's one of their top prospects. Right? It's an old throwback, Randy Johnson. I thought that was a different parallel for the G Man for a second. Another Pete Alonzo. For Jordan Bond. Mr. Bond, all of those can add up. Hey, Arthur, while we're on the subject of the Diamondbacks of Diamondbacks pitchers, what's wrong with Robbie Ray? Got a lot of Ks, but terrible year. It's given up a lot of runs, which is weird. Maybe he has a lot of Ks because he's getting himself in trouble and he has to strike out guys. I don't know, but... I thought like during the pre the the second spring training, during second spring training, I feel like he was just killing it, and I was like, all right, I got Robbie Ray on the fantasy. I'm all in on Robbie Ray when I'm wagering or not wagering when I'm investing in baseball teams, in their future success, right? In a in a single game. So I was just like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna invest in Robbie Ray games. And I don't know, just kind of disappointing, especially for someone with with that much talent. Someone I've seen smoke the Dodgers a number of times, you know, like a year or two ago. There's Plutko Foil and another Tatis Jr. for the Padres. Jordan Bond with that one too. He let his hair grow too long. Is that what it is? Reverse Samson. It's too much hair now. All right, just five, one, can't count, four blaster boxes left. Two, three, and four. So apparently he Ray decided to change his release point and it looks like that it just messed them all up. I mean, if it ain't broke, it's like Markel Fultz trying to fix his shot before he plays his first professional game. Release point and delivery. Why is he tinkering with that? It looked good. Who's telling him, to, did he do this? Or is the Diamondbacks pitching staff, that's Reggie Jackson A's, that'll be for Mike G. Gets the, maybe draws first blood in that trade. The hat I'm wearing, I'm glad you asked. That's a Kansas City Monarchs hat, which uh, Jackie Robinson played for, for like half a second before they, I think before he moved on to the Dodgers, actually. There's Ryan McMahon. So he was there for a second or two for a cup of coffee. Before we moved on to bigger and better things. There's McMahon for the Rocket. I know. It, Chadwick Boseman, RIP. Yeah, he, we, that was not lost upon us when we heard the news, Mark Rubin, did, that uh, Chadwick Boseman, who passed away today, colon cancer. Um, Played uh, Jackie Robinson, and today's Jackie Robinson Day. Out of 2019, Sand and Judge, powerful pair for the Yankees. That's going to go to Chris Gerard, and the Kyle Wright goes to Alberto and the Bravos. That's right, Arthur Wakanda forever. Man, Nick and I were just marveling over. Man, that guy was still going through chemo and multiple surgeries and all that. Was still, I mean, was still look bulky for like for Black Panther and so I don't think anyone knew G Lo. I don't think anyone knew he had cancer. I think he just kept it under the radar. I mean maybe you know I think maybe his obviously his family and business associates probably knew but but yeah that leads to the general public like us.
And I was thinking, man, he, he did a lot of movies in like the last four years. Think about how many movies he's done. But yeah, exactly, Arthur. He knew what he knew what was about to happen. He was earning money for his kids and his family. And it was really Stargill. Jason with the Pirates. Very sad. 2020. No 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 good. No bueno on this. Yeah, absolutely. I think I think it's a it's you know, it's a smart thing to do. Get checked for that colon cancer, guys. Especially especially for the men and the prostate cancer too, all that. And Randy Johnson, I'll bet his photography. Randy Johnson, photographer now. For those of you who did not know, most of you probably do, but this goes to the Mariners. But yeah, does some good, does some good photography. Whoa, one step closer to being another rival we have to crush, Arthur. Is that what you're saying? Another one, another, another, another one, another breaker to, to destroy, I guess. Leaving the dust. There's Don Manning. Oh man. Joe P's not going to break with me anymore. He's going to be like, why should I break with you, Joe, when I could just local pick up with Arthur in Arizona? Lose all that Joe P money. Yankees, Chris. Well, good, Arthur. I'm, it's, that, that is actually good to hear. Oh, you're on a heater with us, Joe P. You're on a heater with us right now. No, I think that'd be a lot of fun. Arthur, good luck, man. Hopefully. Um, hopefully, uh, what we were talking about, shop owner, will get you set up and everything. It's good. It's a good thing. We need more good breakers out there to grow the breaking pie. The pie can still grow. That's the thing. And what is Ian Kinsler? That's this guy I don't know. He, he's the co-owner of Warstick, marrying passion for business. What is Warstick? As a baseball bat brand? Oh, bats? Brad L. saying? All right, bats. There you go. All right, good job. Bats. Hats for bats. Keep that warm. Oh, it's co-owned by Jack White, Brad L. saying. Huh. I, I'd like to... Can I co-own something with Jack White? Does Jack White want to buy into Jaspers, maybe? 50-50. Are we planning on doing more certified football breaks? If we're able to get some. There's Jose Altuve, Astros, Mark N. That's right, Jet. All right, last blaster box. Big thanks to Nick for helping me out. 
It's turned an hour long break into a 40 minute break, so I appreciate that. That's, that ends up opening up like another break or two for us tonight. Maybe, if it happens. We're going to around 9 ish Pacific, midnight ish Eastern. If that, uh, there's Andrew Triggs right here, it's 2019. If, uh, if that Bowman Transcend fills up, man, I don't, I don't think any of us would mind going a little late for that. Yeah, we might have to move that the rest of that Immaculate to number blocks. I know, they're ba those basketball rings are going to be great. Everyone, tu everyone tuning in tomorrow? After taking a bit of a break, they've been in the news a lot. Good business move. A lot of advertisers. All right, there you go. That was Blaster, random team number one, 2019 Tops Series 2 Baseball in the books. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one.